My name is Axeli. Uh, I'm a member of Economic Space Agency, yes. a political yes. economist, yes. and I'm going to introduce and facilitate this session uh, for us this afternoon. Rick and Jorge, okay, great, I'll, I'll see you well. Cool, now, let's start. Um, one of the most difficult things to understand about crypto economics, crypto ec economic uh, systems, is that they really have a potential to cause an irreversible change in, the, in, in what we understand uh, as economy. They can turn economy in itself economy and its conventions, its institutions in themselves into a design space. Now, yet within crypto economics, there has been very little um, attention to rethinking the, the economics uh, component. The, the consequence has been like an implicit embrace of, uh, of a very conservative orthodoxy of, of what is economy, how does it work, what is valuable, uh, how does money, markets, uh, credit, uh, how do they work? Uh, from our perspective, uh, we really think that it is this orthodoxy which is actually blocking the real potential in the, in the crypto economic systems to really facilitate a, a, a radical, radically different political and economical organization. And we think that a new understanding of economy can actually uh, unlock the potential of, of uh, distributed computation. Now, and this is something we've been working on, on for, for quite some time, quite, quite uh, intensively, and, uh, and I'm pretty excited about it too. So this is uh, uh, what we call uh, um, our uh, economic white paper uh, of Economic Space Agency. Protocols for crypto economic networks, and it's still in the, the pre-alpha private uh, uh, review. But if you are interested in in, in rethinking economy, economy and its conventions as protocols, and, and thus as a design space, please just let me know, and, and we are really happy to to share the text. Uh, now, in, in the in the in the work uh, we've been doing. We, we started to realize that what we, are, what we are really doing, what we are really working with, it's, it's a language. It's a language for expressing economic networks, a language for, for, for new economic expression. So, so we think that we are working with, uh, with, an, with an economic language uh, that can express uh, the, the capitalist network uh, protocols but even more, it can go beyond them. It can, it can encompass the capitalist value calculation, but express even more, like quali more qualified values, uh, while refusing their collapse into, into one value form, into one value expression uh, that disqualifies all the non-money non -money, uh, values as, as extern exter externalities. So, so we think that, that this grammar, this economic grammar, is capable of valuing, for, for instance, the, the biosphere, care, intangibles, uh, uh, social innovation, without reducing the information they, they contain into this one capitalist defined uh, 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 index of price or the measuring unit of, of profitability. So in that sense, it is a, it's a post-capitalist language, a language for post-capitalist value expression, economic expression in a, in a very uh, literal sense. Now, in the, in the white paper, in the economic white paper, we, we basically deconstruct uh, um, the basic protocols of, of capitalist economics, the market, the profit, price, uh, credit, uh, debt, uh, and then reconstruct them into a set of, set of, set of pro, uh, uh, new economic protocols. And this is what, what we really want to talk here today. Now, before uh, um, going into that, let me just quickly introduce also the, the team that we have here uh, on, on stage and in, the, in, in Zoom also. So let's start with, uh, can you give me the slides back? Yeah. 
Thanks. So I'll start with um, Jorge, Jorge Lopez. He's a distributed uh, systems architect. Um, and I mean, I've learned so much uh, uh, from Jorge about engineering and a, a kind of a new kind of respect how creative uh, uh, the software engineering can be. So he's joining us from, he's a, a chief architect and the co-founder also of, of EXA and joining us from, from San Francisco. Hi guys. Uh, good, Jorge. Great. Then we have Dick Bryan. Give me the slides back. Great. Dick Bryan, who is our uh, chief economist. He's a, a, a professor of political economic, economy from Sydney University. And one of the really the, has one of the best understandings, I think, of, of, of derivative finance. Uh, um, like a finance as a derivative finance as an organizational and political technology. Here are a couple of uh, his latest books, Risking Together from last year. And then uh, the other one from 2005, Capitalism with Derivatives, which has been a really important book for me personally. And they both are, are written together with Mike Rafferty, who's also an advisor to the project. Then we have uh, Benjamin Lee here on, on stage. And he's a professor of anthropology at the, at the New School. And uh, uh, kind of a bringing, there's a, a really good book by Ben, The Derivatives and the Wealth of Societies. And he's also the coordinator of the, of the volatility working group in, in, in New York. And basically can really has helped us understand the pre-money value forms and then like the, of, the, of the primitive societies, of gift societies, and help us understand kind of for how that relates to these post-money value forms we are working with. And then Jonathan Beller, here also in the, with us, he's the professor of media at, at Pratt uh, Institute. And from Jonathan, I chose a couple of good books also. One on, on computational capitalism and other on, on cinema as a, as a mode of production. And, and Jonathan has been working a lot with the attention economy, uh, semiotics of, of the new mode of production. Then also here at MIT, Anna and James from the from the core team, and uh, I think we are ready to go. 